Let's discuss all this uh, news now coming from the courts as we bring in via phone Kennedy Osunwa, he's a lawyer. Thanks a lot, uh, Kennedy, for joining us at this time. So, uh, Hembe out, uh, and also the same thing uh, for the Taraba senator talking about Sani Abubakar Danladi. All this on account of wrongful uh, substitution from the party which they all belonged. What lessons can we learn from these judgments? Yes, uh, um, I want to clearly state that um, this uh, judgment from the Apex Court is um, a development for democracy. And uh, it is also a lesson to our politicians that wants to get into power by all means defiling and undermining the provisions of the Electoral Act. And um, this has gone to show that when they do whatever they do in order to come to the limelight that they have been elected by their people, they should remember that the, 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 the gamut of the law or the entire system will one day fish them out like what has been done by the Apex Court, the Supreme Court of Nigeria. So it is a very big lesson to our politicians that goes on and on, or do or die affairs politicking in order to be at the helm of affairs. This is a very good lesson for them, and they must ensure that they abide by the provisions and, and the tenets of the law guiding the electoral system in Nigeria. And what is the impact of these controversies on uh, governance in Nigeria? Many analysts would argue that all these uh, are just a waste of time from uh, the apex courts who would have uh, better matters to rule and deliberate on. How can it be avoided in the first place within the parties? Well, I, um, as far as I'm concerned, I, it is all still a de de development or democratic development of our system because uh, the Supreme Court is the apex court and uh, whatever that happens and whatever matter that also come uh, that up before the Supreme Court, then it is left for the apex court determine the matter one way or the other. Uh, and, and then Kennedy, uh, well, Tambuwal uh, could be celebrating now, but um, we don't know yet if um, that case now of, of, of Justice Kolawale affirming his victory at the polls now it could be appealed against based uh, by the foregoing, talking about Herman's, uh, Hembe's loss now. Should the Tambuwal camp control. now be worried? Yes. Yes, looking at the hierarchical structure of our court system, yes, uh, the, uh, the Honorable Justice Kola Wale has uh, delivered uh, his um, uh, ruling uh, in favor of uh, 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 His Excellency uh, Governor Tambua. But again, that ruling by the hierarchy of the court that delivered that ruling is equally subject to appeal. So um, the, the, His Excellency well can rejoice at the first, what, what I call the first leg of his victory. But if his opponent uh, still deems it necessary that uh, he stands a better chance uh, at, the, at the appeal, he can still exercise his right of appeal uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to the superior uh, court than that of the Federal High Court. So it is, it, is, it is not a victory that one will say, okay, that is the final bus stop. Of course, you know that the Apex Court, being the Supreme Court of Nigeria, is the Apex Court. And till it gets there, and the Supreme Court says that, yes, I affirm the, the election of His Excellency Governor uh, 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 Tambua, then we will say that, yes, 
uh, 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 Tambua can roll out his, uh, his dr uh, dancing drums and uh, dance to the height of his victory. Kennedy, it's left to be seen who will laugh last at the end of the day um, in this matter. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on CVC News Hour.